Those gentlemen are walking straight towards us. Run. Hyojo-san? What? Sorry, this is out of nowhere. If we get cut right to the chase, ready, set. Please marry me. Um, I don't know about that one, Chief. I don't know about that one. We're back again to play some games. It's Sunday, which means Sunday Seduction, a series on my channel where I play a random Otome game. And this week we have the highly anticipated Variable Barricade. And I've been waiting for this for a while. So before we start, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, follow me on my social media. It's all in the description below and we can get started. Let me know in the comments who, which guy catches your eye or caught your eye. Oh, I'm rich. I'm rich. A young woman from a wealthy family always seeks a man of suitably high status to be her husband. I suspect that is a universal truth. I certainly believe it. In other words, since I was the only heir to the wealthy, influential Tojo family, it was expected that one day I would take a similarly wealthy man as my husband. That was my lot, and I wasn't especially dissatisfied with it. I cut the terms a long time ago. And yet, what? They suck. How'd this happen? They suck, don't they? September 1st, 7 a.m., Tojo Family Estate. I'm rich. Pardon me. Good morning. Good morning. I prepared your school bag. Is there anything else you require? You got snacks in there? No, that'll be all. Thank you. I had some extra material to take with me to school. Likely because it was the first day of a new semester. You high score at college. Uh, glancing sidelong at the pile, I nonchalantly asked the servant a question. Would you happen to know where Kasuka is? Kasuka? He's preparing the car, miss. I'm sure he will be here before long. 
I thought I heard a hint of indulgent patience in his voice, like an adult reassuring a petulant child. His pleasant gaze made me feel a little awkward, so I casually looked away. Why are you so nervous? Is that right? That's good then. You may go now. Understood, miss. Please excuse me. How long does he intend to make me wait? I have to make sure to be ready early too. I glared at the door and sighed impatiently. At the clock. Who is it? Pardon me. What's good? I tamped down the urge to snap, you're late, and kept my expression of calm as I greeted him. Good morning, Miss Lauren. Am I correct in assuming you're ready to leave? I am. Is it time already? Yeah. Not quite, miss. You have a few minutes before it's time to depart. Hmm? I always You seem quite enthusiastic this morning. Are you that excited to return to school and see your friends? Not particularly, no. No. <laughs> oh, is that so? Well then, it seems I'm more beloved by you than I previously thought, Miss Lauren. Huh? What? Thank you you better calm down. I ain't flirting with you. Stop flirting with me. <laughs> I'm deeply moved that you would deliberately set aside time to speak with me, even though we only have a few precious minutes before you're off to school. Don't flatter yourself. I only happen to be ready, particularly early. It's pure coincidence. Oh, he likes messing with me. Uh, whoever you are. Oh, I stand corrected. Miss, I beg your pardon. Kazuka's eyes slid away from mine. I could tell he was hiding a smile. <laughs> What's with that smug, know-it-all look? Why am I so upset, you ask? Well, my problems started right before the beginning of summer vacation. You're gonna study abroad? Indeed, miss. I wish to learn more about but butling. So I will attend a specialized academy in England. Do they actually have those? Like a butler school? England? But why now? You served as my personal butler for almost eight years. That's particularly why, miss. That's particularly... Precisely. <laughs> That's precisely why, miss. I must strive to improve my skills as a butler so that I am ready to serve you at my very best when I come of age. Well, I think your skills are perfectly competent now. You flatter me. However, I'm still a novice, and it's a matter of what others may think. A little extra prestige will do no harm. I guess. Go and do what you have to do. 
短期集中講座ですからちょうど夏休みの丸1ヶ月ほど留守にさせていただきます It's a short intensive study course, miss. I will be gone the month of your holiday and no longer. So you work it. Natsia Simi no Bacans Miwa Goisho de Kimasenga. Fuji Yuga Nayo, Sibete Totonoite Okimasnode. Sadly, I will not be able to accompany you on your holiday trip. Still, I shall see to it that you won't want for anything. Anata ga ikanai nara. Watashi mo ikanai. You're so childish. You may go on a holiday, the heck? If you aren't here, I'm not going anywhere. I don't want to say anything about your mother. There are people who are in the vacancy of your children. Please, miss, don't be that way. There are several servants who arrange to take their own holiday whilst you are away. Don't be selfish. Might I beg your indulgence in this matter? Yes. Other than that, as if you'll listen to me if I say no. Nanika. Well then. Okay, fine. Go already. Thanks to him informing me of his immediate departure only after it was a done deal, I spent my summer vacation almost entirely alone. Just thinking about it made me want to grind my teeth. Golly. If I didn't do something to vent my irritation, I was sure I would pop. I fist Kasuga with what I hoped was a withering glare and said, You're spoiled. I was highly inconvenienced while you were absent, Kasuga. Please accept my humblest apologies, miss. I had trouble getting in touch with you too. Yet for some odd reason, you didn't seem to have any problems hearing about me. I'm afraid my studies kept me quite busy. But I did try to do what little I could to stay up to date on how well you were doing, Miss Lauren. You're finally home after gallivanting all summer. But it's the last day of my vacation, and it's late at night. I hardly get to say hello before it's lights out. It is exceedingly, exceedingly important for your health that you get an adequate amount of sleep every night, miss. I prefer for my feelings to have priority over my schedule every so often. Venting my irritation left me too exhausted to give voice to my innermost thoughts. Kazuka had been my personal butler for eight years. His trip to England marked the longest span of time the two of us have ever been separated. I wish that he, that someone, had taken that small fact into consideration. It was only a month. Look, it was years. That's like, what, four weeks? Three weeks and a half? Um, it seems my absence left you feeling lonely, miss. I apologize profusely, profusely for that. As soon as I returned, I aimed to make myself useful to you. I immediately busied myself finding out what had happened whilst I was gone. And... No, I'm making excuses. It's clear I failed you. Miss, I vow to do my utmost to improve myself. I beg your forgiveness. I forgive you. Kazuka stood there, waiting for me to say something. Shaming him further would simply be cruel. He did go off to study for my sake after all. Okay. 
Now that you've returned, I'm going to ask you to work hard to make up for your absence. Am I understood? Of course, Miss Lauren. Seeing to your every need is my duty and my pleasure. I will allow no one to take this privilege away from me. Good then. Uh, with things mended between us, Kazuka glanced at the time and then picked up my bags. Turning to me, he said, it is nearly time, miss. Shall we be off? The car is ready and waiting for you. Let's go. Wait, I want to go to school. I followed behind him, walking out the gates of the estate. Stopping, I turned to look behind me. The Tojo family estate. In some circles, getting permission to step across this threshold was a sign of privilege. Oh, so you rich, rich. You got old money or new money? Probably old. Uh, but for me... Miss Lauren? I'm coming. That car scared me. Despite being a woman, I was still the family's sole heir. There's no question my family cares for me. I was being raised well as both a daughter and the Tojo line successor. My many servants treated me fondly. It wasn't as if I had no one I could rely on. And yet, inside that mansion, there was only one person I truly regarded as my steadfast ally, Kazuka. He quickly became, uh, he quickly became thus when he was appointed as my butler eight years prior. How old are we? Saint, uh, oh, right there. Saint Agnes Academy for Girls. Agnes. Have a pleasant day, miss. Deuces. Thank you. One more thing, Kasuga. Today's schedule is only opening ceremonies in a short homeroom. I'll be finished sooner than usual. I'm aware, Miss Lauren. Oh, and by the way. What? What? Yeah. Say it. You're in love with me? I don't think he's an option. Or is he? Who knows? Uh, never mind. It's nothing important. Today is the beginning of a new semester. Please make sure you stay focused, regardless of what may happen. What may happen? Oh, you know something. You know something's gonna happen today. That's gonna ruin my day. What on earth did he mean by that? Before I could reply, he gave me a gentle push to send me on my way. Confused, I began the walk. Look, Miss Tojo has arrived. Miss Lauren, you look as elegant as always. I can feel everyone's eyes stabbing into me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. St. Agnes Academy for Girls was well known as a private school attended primarily by a well-to-do by well-to-do and privately by the well-to-do it was what does that mean in essence a rich girl's school that's all you had to say even amongst all those wealthy students the tojo name was still powerful and influ influential when others looked my way i knew they saw not me but my family <laughs> Oh gosh, what should I do? Would it be too forward to just say hello? Come say hi. Uh, I'm sure it'll be alright. Come, let's both offer our greetings together. Oh. <laughs> right, right. 
on the count of three, okay? Ready? One, two, three. Good morning, Miss Lauren. Good day. Golly. Thank you, thank you. Oh my goodness, she spoke to us. She did. I'm so glad we decided to speak up. Okay, don't... You didn't want to keep the conversation going? <laughs> He's ran away. This is so exhausting. <laughs> A friend? A friend? Well, well, Madam Lauren. I see popularity hasn't waned one bit. What's good, Smoogie? This is Smoogie Kano. She was the first friend I ever made, and before long, she became my most treasured compatriot. Compatriot. Uh, breathing a sigh of relief for the first time that day, I smiled and waved. Good morning. It's been too long. Good morning, and yes, it has. I'm glad to see you're doing well. Yeah, you are so pretty. Have you ever considered waving to others like you just did to me? I'm sure they would all die of joy if you tried it. I... Oh, she, she's shy. I, I couldn't, so I won't. <laughs> you can be so adorably shy at times, Lauren. But I love you just the way you are. Anyway, shall we be off the homeroom? Staying around out here will just attract more attention. I nodded, and Sumagi and I walked into the building. Ah, uh, that's right. Smoogie. It isn't much, but I got a souvenir for you. <laughs> oh, how thoughtful of you. Thank you so much. To be honest, I have a small gift for you as well. I hope you haven't grown bored of these sweets yet. No, this is lovely. Thank you. I don't get to go to Kyoto very often. I really like this brand. So, tell me, how was your visit home? Do they keep you busy as always? Indeed. A long vacation presented a perfect chance for them to foist even more work on me. It was exhausting. But I'm not exactly in a position to say no. Goodness. I'm sorry. I know you have to suffer through it if you want to attend the class here. But it must be so rough. Samugi came from a famous family of Ikiban master flower arrangers. Like me, she was an only child. She was already set to be the family's head headmistress. Every summer on winter break, she had to return to her family home in Kyoto to undergo training and help with the family business. You look like you like flowers. You do, you do. Um, oh, I don't mind the work at all. I like flowers. And I accepted long ago that networking is a necessary step for building my future. You're a bit weird. But it did hurt to leave. Oh, it was agonizing to be unable to visit 
Ariaki, in both summer and winter. It's what I live for, but alas, I'm kept away. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I let my eyes slide away from Sumugi. She's such a normal girl, except for that hobby of hers. I won't say what it is, but I will say that her um, unusual pastime has put me more than one awkward situation. Has put me in more than one awkward situation. What's the hobby? I want to know. We're good friends. Excellent friends. That said, there are some lines you just don't cross. I want to know. It's probably not even that weird of a hobby. You're just being judgmental. Uh, oh dear. It's almost time for class to begin. Let's meet up and chat later. Yes, let's. Please don't let her bring up her hobby. Please do. I want to know. Hoping against hope that I'd be able to avoid that uncomfortable topic a little longer. I took my seat. We done here? I'm ready to bounce. Hmm. It seems noisier than usual. Say, Lauren, since our first day back, why don't we eat lunch together? Hmm? Oh, yes, that sounds lovely. For now, why are people crowding around the front gate? Oh my, you're right. I wonder if something happened. What happened? What's going on? A fight? Come on, hurry up. This is gonna be incredible. I just know it. Walk faster. Jeez, would you stop pulling already? What on earth is going on? There are four super hot, hot guys hanging around the front gate. Not just one, four. Imagine. Okay. Oh, maybe they're here to see someone home? Or maybe something's being filmed nearby? I don't know, but I want to find out. Hurry. We might still be able to take some selfies with them. Hmm. Everyone seems extremely curious about those supposed gentlemen. Wanna go and see what all the fuss is about? Not really. It's kind of weird to go get a picture with somebody just because they're good looking, you know? But it's different when they're good looking and they're famous. But getting a picture with somebody just because they're good looking? Kinda weird. <laughs> Are you seriously asking me that? Now, if we are going to stop and have a bit of lunch, I must let Kazuka know. <laughs> they sound like overexcited orangutans. I have no idea who those hot guys are, but I wish they would finish their business and disperse. I'm trying to leave, and they are in my way. Maybe I should call Kasuka and have him bring the car to the back gate instead. I was taking my phone out of my pocket to do exactly that when it happened. Aha! Uh -huh. Could that be her? Yep, that's her for sure. <laughs> Hmm. Y'all talking about me, huh? What y'all want? I'm starting to feel a little nervous. Everything's ready. Come on. Let's go say hello to our princess. Princess? Uh, Lauren, 
Those gentlemen are walking straight towards us. Run. Huh? Smokey urgently tapped my shoulder. I looked up from my phone to see. Dojo-san? What? Sorry, this is out of nowhere. If we get cut right to the chase, ready, set. Please marry me. Um, I don't know about that one, Chief. I don't know about that one. Huh? What? Sparkle. <laughs> oh my god. Seriously? <laughs> they proposed to her. <laughs> to Miss Tojo? Oh gosh. I can't believe it. <laughs> Lauren. What on earth is this? Oh. Smokey was tugging on my sleeve, babbling something. I hardly know she was there. I was too stunned. I was too stunned to speak. Four roses shoved directly in my face. Back it up. I got that rose in my face. Four pairs of expectant eyes staring into me. Let me see. Blonde one, light blue haired one, dark blue haired one, pink haired one. The growing crafts by Kidders chattered uh, and blushing at the sudden spectacle. I have no words but back up. Everyone was waiting for me to respond. Ignore them, insist they have the wrong person, call for Kazuka. I can skip it? What's that? Or is that giving me more options? I don't know. I'm not going to risk it. Um. Where's Kasuga? <laughs> Kasuga! Uh, I start the accent while on earth all the commotion was about. I quickly bit my tongue. He's not even here. Lauren, if you like, I'll gladly go and look for Kasuga for you. No, it's alright. The situation that seemingly left me far more flustered than I initially thought. Oops. I quickly turned my head to hide a blush of shame. Well, easy. How about we take a second breathe, babe? Babe. Mm -mm. Don't talk to me like that. I don't know you like that. Oh, and just so we're clear, this is reality. Reality. His flippant tone hit me like a splash of cold water. Now is not the time to panic. I was dealing with unknown and very fort strangers. I needed to collect my dignity and deal with them firmly. Who are you gentlemen exactly? Introduce yourself. How do you know my name? And what was the purpose of that tasteless prank a moment ago? Wait, please, where? Only students and faculty are allowed on this campus. Do you have permission to be here? He's panicked. They're panicking. Calm down. Let's take things one at a time, shall we? Right. Let's start with introductions. I'm... That will not be necessary. Kazuka? Kazuka? 
予想以上の混乱ぶりですねだから私は反対したのですよ、so、I knew he knew something before he left You couldn't give me a heads up, a hint, a secret note. I see this incident has unnerved you more than, what, more than that was anticipated, miss. This is precisely why I was against the entire idea. Kasuga, what do you mean by that? Who are these gentlemen? まずはこの場を離脱いたしましょう。騒ぎが大きくなりすぎていますから。Everything be alright, Miss Lauren. First, let's take our leave of this place. The commotion has drawn far too much attention. Kazuka drew me to his side and began to walk. We had taken two steps before one of the gentlemen spoke up. Oi, Kazuka! What the heck are we supposed to do now? こちらに向かう際に使った車で一度お戻りください。He said, Get your butt in the car. I won't inform you later of what will happen next. Hmm. Does he know them? Come, Miss Lauren. This way, please. His hand on my back was firm, and his tone broke no defiance. I twisted around to look behind me. Sumugi, I will see you tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. I hope everything turns out well. I barely got a mom to say goodbye to Sumugi before Kazuka led me to the waiting car and helped me inside. Golly. An impressive silence filled the car. Awkward. No matter how many questions I asked, Kazuko simply said that he would explain later and refused to say another word. Come on, we're supposed to be besties here, Kazuko. Let me know. For some odd reason, he seemed even more put off about the sunny courtship rush than I was. It was frightening. Miss Lauren? Yes? My profound apologies. But may I request that you please proceed straight to the main house? The main house? Why ever for? The master is awaiting you. My personal residence was a smaller house located on the estate. I rarely ever visit the main house. Though we technically live in the same place, I hadn't seen Grandfather in quite some time. He still held firmly to his post as the head of the family despite his age. His days were, fu his days were very full. But more than that, what is that meddling old coop flying this time? He and I simply did not see eye to eye, ever. He's trying to get me married. Ooh, you sound like you plot. You sound like you're plotting. Lauren, it's been a while. I see your eyes haven't lost their cheeky glint. There's this hostility in the air. Yes. It has been a while, Grandfather. I notice you still look like a scheming villain. I'm utterly shocked children don't scream or run at the sight of you. <laughs> like you did once upon a time? Mm, Y'all the same. <laughs> Y'all exactly the same. I can see it. Um, indeed. I like to think tolerating you has done much to improve my fortitude. <clears throat> Y'all got the same bangs, like the side bangs that square off. Yeah, anyway. 
So I'm trying to make it less host hostile in here. It's too hostile in here. I'm trying to calm everybody down. Nervousness and sarcasm were wearingly familiar feelings that always accompanied the audience with my grandfather. I couldn't afford to lose my focus for an instant. I stiffened my posture and took a deep breath, still myself as if for moral combat. Well, Grandfather, what grand reason do you have for summoning me here today? What? You haven't guessed? Slow as usual, girl. Rude. Tell me, what did you think of the four boys I chose as your potential bridegrooms? Excuse me? Were any of them to your liking? I think all of them were quite handsome, no? Choose whichever of them strikes your fancy. Wait, grandfather. You can't possibly be referring to those creepy, rose-pushing strangers from earlier. Strangers? Each of them is more than worthy of being your bridegroom. I know, because I selected each of them personally. I blink. Think this must be what it felt like when something was truly jaw-dropping. But I was only frozen with shock for a moment. Rage soon thought the ice inside my body before I rushed out in a torrent of vitriol aimed at the vulture before me. What on earth are you on about? Bridegrooms? That you chose? For me? Who asked you to dig them up and drag them over to me? Because I certainly did not ask. I suspect you are unhappy with my choices. What about them do you not find satisfactory? The fact that you chose them? Everything. Don't whine like a toddler. Give me a real concrete reason, girl. His dismissive attitude fanned my rage, but I reined in my fury with a deep breath. I must stay calm. I must be reasonable. I can't let Grandfather control this conversation. First and foremost, I have no need for a bridegroom. I thought that, as the heir to this bloodline, you knew that you have a duty to one day marry and raise a family. Am I somehow mistaken? No, I know that, and I accept it. However, it's much too soon to think about marriage. I'm still a high school student. It is too soon. It's never too soon. There are many families out there who patrol with their hairs at even earlier ages. Indeed. Isn't that the case for your friend, Miss Mugi? I heard she already has a fiance. Well, I'm not Smugi. I felt a cold bead of sweat trickle down my spine. It was dirty of him to use Smugi against me. Is that so? Ah, well. What else do you find unsatisfactory about the bike rooms I've chosen for you? 
I have a right to choose my own husband. So go ahead and choose. There are four options. How do you expect me to choose between four men who are utterly strangers to me? No one said you need to make a choice today. First, establish a relationship with each of them. When you've picked a part and study each one, select your husband. Why must it be one of those four? Why shouldn't it be one of them? Because I do not believe people who barge onto a private campus and propose in such an obnoxious manner could come from intelligence, sensible stock. Mm, so you want to embarrass me on purpose? Oh, that stunt? I suggest they do it. After all, if I try anything more subtle, you will simply dodge the issue as long as I permitted you to ignore it. Grandfather. You keep wiggling out of your familial duty. You've rejected multiple requests for marriage interviews and whined about how it's all too sudden and too soon. Because it is. Each candidate was of good character and station, but yet you rejected every single one before even looking at their photographs. Well... I did check with you beforehand, Grandfather. I asked if the interviews were mandatory. You told me that I was free to make my own choices. So you did, and I do recall giving me permission to decide. I presume that you had good reason for rejecting them. Of course I did. And what was the reason for that? Something other than being too soon? Or will it be the usual stale excuse? I've been trying to say I want to look. I'm kind of rude, Grandpa. What do you mean by that? You want to find a husband on your own? Ha! Huh. Don't make me laugh, girl. What makes you think you're even remotely qualified to choose your own bridegroom? What? What do you mean by that, Grandpa? I don't want to throw hands with an old man, but... I might have to. Put him up. You attend the all female academy. Your only friend is a girl. You barely show your face. Uh, hey, I do have a friend. My butler is my friend. Uh, anyway. <laughs> you barely show your face at social engagements. And you ignore any man who talks to you. Same. That's what the problem is. How can such a naive, inexperienced child 
have a chance of finding an appropriate husband. Go on and find one. If you think you can do better than me. Look at patronizing me. Go on. Go indulge in... Oh, uh, what do you youngsters call them? Mixer parties? Find a husband in the ramble? I would never stick to anything so crass. Then how do you hope to succeed? The only man you know is Kasuga. It's a little difficult to find the right opportunity when you deliberately avoid them all. Still, it's far too early. I have plenty of time to think about the matter after high school. Look <laughs> how patronizing it is. Golly. What, do you plan to give yourself a makeover and debut as a brand new woman in college? Don't bother. You can never pull it off. Wow. Hmm. Okay. Girl, you got you gotta <laughs> you gotta fight him because this is too disrespectful. You my grandpa, but that's too disrespectful. Oh, I wasn't even aware that you knew the meaning of the word makeover. Hmm. That's not why I intended anyway. Then what do you intend to do exactly? Magically develop expertise in matters you know nothing about? Or are you... Ah, uh, that's your plan, isn't it? You're waiting for your Prince Charming, who will suddenly appear and sweep you off your feet? That's an awfully girlish dream for someone with your looks. Golly. Excuse me? What do my looks have to do with anything? Grandpa, 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 Grandpa. Shut your mouth. You are disrespectful. You are way too disrespectful. Way too disrespectful. This whole time. Mm -mm. Lauren, a word of advice. Don't attempt to dodge reality forever. It never works. And only leads to pain in the end, understood? I feel a vein in my temple start to throb as I listen to his advice. Same. He low key said I wasn't pretty enough. The heck? I want to stop him right in his sneering face. I want to punch him in the throat. <laughs> I am not so hopelessly romantic that I would wait for a prince, and I'm not trying to dodge reality. Exactly, exactly. I simply do not wish to marry anyone that you have recommended, Grandfather. I cannot believe that any of them would be decent people. Mm -hmm. Oh, then will you accept a marriage interview? That's another subject entirely. I want to leave. <laughs> I don't want to talk to him no more. So it's off for parties? Or will you simply hit on whomever? Why would I do such a thing? You only have so much time, Lauren. 
I have the rest of my life. The heck? Yes, you are the heir to the Tojo family, but not everyone will be impressed by that title. You know, I don't have to marry a rich person. I could literally find... There are many factors to consider. Family, wealth, ability. The higher you end, the more quickly the list of viable candidates will shrink. Viable candidates will shrink. I don't have to aim that high. And of course, you won't be the only one after the best man. Many competitors are looking for husbands too. Don't fool yourself into thinking you have all the time in the world. While you hide from reality, the best choice will find their matches one by one. Whatever, Grandpa, I'm out of here. Deuces, deuces, deuces. I bought my fist in my lap. I didn't like to admit it, but Grandfather was right. I was so stubborn that I refused to acknowledge that. You said the family is the most important thing? You said family status is the most important thing? Whatever. Act like you still have a choice to make. If you can't do that, then accept others' choices for you. That's what I want you to learn. If you don't wish to accept the men that I've selected for you, then hurry up and find one that fits whatever criteria you have. If you can, that is. Let me out of here. And with that, Grandfather stood to leave. Let him go. Let him go. At least he's not forcing me. That's that's the, the only good thing, I guess. I mean, low-key is, but at the same time, I don't know. <laughs> With a tyrant. My lips twisted into a frustrated frown. I thought I still at myself for this inevitable day, but I suppose deep down, a part of me is still res resistant. Grandfather must have noticed, even when I hadn't. What am I supposed to do? Has the audience concluded? Please pardon the intrusion, miss. I saw the master leave, so I presumed. May I have a moment of your time? Seeing Kazuko's familiar face, a face I trust him more than anyone's, Caused the tension to lift from my shoulders. I'm tired. I'm going back to my room. What now? I'm afraid you mustn't miss. What do you mean? Is something else on my schedule? Huh? Miss Laura, I must inform you that as of today, you are no longer you no longer have rooms on the Tojo family estate. He's kicking me out. Is that what's going on? A vacation home has been prepared for you to use. I will show you there now. Oh golly, golly. Suffering another major shock, so soon after the first left me without energy to speak. All I could do was stare up at Kazuka in helpless surprise. Well, September 1st is not a good day, huh? It's only 3 p.m. A lot of windows. A lot of windows. Does it meet your approval, Miss Lauren? 
こちら全3階建てとなっております広さは本家とは比べ物になりませんが不自由がない程度に設備も整えてあります It is a total of three floors. It isn't nearly as large as the main estate. But I make certain it's well appointed. You ought not to lack for anything. Are you gonna stay here and serve me? Or not? お嬢様には3階をご使用いただきます。こちらはお嬢様と私。そして私が許可したハウスキーパーのみが入れる空間です。Okay, okay, okay. The third floor has been set aside for, you personally, for your personal use. You, myself, and the housekeeper are the only ones permitted access to it. Okay, I get a whole floor to myself. Okay. That's kind of like an apartment. お嬢様のプライベートは完璧にお守りいたしますので。But I only get the w a i t There's three floors, and I only. Oh, there's other people. Oh, the boys. The boys are here. Please be assured that you will have to、uh, complete privacy, miss. I personally agree to it. I personally guarantee it. Cut to the point. That's not the issue today. So, t s the only thing that I understand that, miss, but I'm afraid of avoiding reality will solve nothing. But I'm running away. I'm out of here. Yes, I know that. I know that, but. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Your student's room are, rooms are all located on the second floor. The first floor will be a common area. The rules of property will be strictly enforced, ensuring all reasonable modesty. I hope that you will enjoy the time you spend here in your new home. Hmm. <sighs> How can I enjoy anything? All your possessions have already been moved in and set up in their proper places, Miss Lauren. Now, if you will please follow me. The door to my future opened with cold indifference. When Kasuga asked me to follow him, he was essentially giving me a gentle push into a gaping maw of uncertainty. Kasuga, show me straight to my rooms, please. I'm watching his clothes. That and. I didn't want to see those men. Not yet. I want at least a few moments to mentally brace myself. But fate was not so kind. My simple wish was. Almost immediately denied. Who's running? Ah, I knew it. Hi, Lauren. What's good? Whoever you are, there they are. Come in. Oh, wait. That's not what I should say first. I need to say welcome home. We've all been waiting for you. I get your name? Come on, this way. Ugh, you would not believe just how loud and annoying Ichia and Taiga have been this whole time. Ichia and Taiga? The man whose name I don't even know reached out to take my hand like it was the most natural thing in the world. What am I supposed to do? Lauren? My apologies, but Miss Lauren has not even had a chance to remove her shoes. Am I asked you to please go wait with the rest of the men in the living room? He seems nice. Mm hmm. He seems okay. A little nervous. Well, no, not no. He was nervous during the 
proposal. But not right now. He's pretty friendly. Oh, right. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'll go let everyone else know you're here. Please don't. Mina! He did. Hey guys, Lauren's home. Home. <laughs> Kasuka, I really want to go to my rooms. But Kasuka, how do you feel about this? Because you were flirting with me. You were flirting with me in the morning. So do you have feelings for me? Because this must be torture for you right now, if that's true. It's time to accept the inevitable, Miss Lauren. Crumbling under the pressure behind Kazuka's smile, I glumly slipped off my shoes and plodded over to the living room I desperately want to avoid. I desperately want to avoid. Let's meet these guys. First of all, the interior. Oh, it's time! There she is. About time you got here, babe. Okay. Okay. Kotori-chan. I'm trying to see who's talking. So one calling me babe is the pink-haired one. The one with the soft voice that I just talk right now is probably the blonde one. Welcome home, Lauren. I'm sure you must have had a long and tiring day. Here, why don't you have a seat next to me? You're the dark blue one. Excuse me. Lauren already has a seat. It's next to me, obviously. Huh? Hold on. We already did rock, paper, scissors to decide who she gets to sit next to. I won, so she sits next to me. Gentlemen, please. Your enthusiasm is welcome, but please recall that none of you have been properly introduced yet. Yeah, who are y'all? Oh, uh, now she mentioned it. The hell? Didn't she go talk to the old man? I thought he was going to explain everything. I was informed that the four of you are the suitors that grandfather chose for me. That's all I was told. I'm sure the master held his peace because he believes introductions are best done in person, face to face. True. I doubt it. He just want to watch me squirm. Ah, uh, well then. Introductions it is. Let's be quick about it too. I can hardly wait to hear Lauren call me by my name. Okay. Go for it. Can I go first? I did win at rock, paper, scissors. Sure, why not? Go for it, Na Nayuta. Nayuta? Nayuta. 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 So I'm just checking all the outfits. Hi! Yagami Nayuta! Hatachi des! Karada Gokas no gaskide! Genki na no ga ichiban no tori des! Didn't they say I was in high school? Anyway, I guess we'll ignore it. I'm 20 years old. I like all kinds of physical activity. My best trait is that I'm always cheerful and positive. Then there's, um, oh, I'm really healthy. Like, so super extra healthy that I've never caught a single cold. You know, they say idiots don't catch colds. But also, you look like you exercise a lot. 
いつでもお嬢さんのお役に立てると思いますよろしくお願いします That means I'll be able to be there and be useful to you all the time, Lauren. 24 7, 365 days a year. It's great to meet you. Yagami. Hmm. He certainly does seem energetic. I gave him a small, regal nod. His face lit up in a bright smile. Allow me to go next. My name is Shion Miyazumi. I'm 22 years old and I'm half French. I have French citizenship actually. I only came to Japan recently. Hmm. You look like you like art. Um, hmm. I'm afraid I don't have any immediate obvious traits to boast about, as Naita did. Perhaps I should mention my love of beautiful things. You're beautiful. Hold on. Shion, you're moving a little too fast. How are you gonna say you love me? You don't even know me. That's why I love you, Lauren. If you don't mind, I hope that I hope you'll let me adore you in beauty someday. Adoring you in beauty someday. You wanna buy me stuff? Uh Mayuzumi, Miyazumi, Mayuzumi himself looks far prettier than I do. I gave him a small nod, hiding my befuddlement as his perfectly sculpted smile. What? Me next? Ah, no, so. Sure, go ahead. You look like your name's Taiga. Oh, we're the same age. <laughs> Me and him are actually the same age. Alright then, the name's Taiga. Isaragi, 23. My fave motto was come back home, run. Come back home, run. Good to meet ya. What kind of motto? Come back home, run. Good to meet ya. You play baseball? Uh, and uh, not much else to say, really. Unlike the rest of these guys, I'm just a regular dude. Feel free to be casual around me. I don't care. Though, yeah, whether or not we get along is gonna be up to you, babe. I get the impression Isarugi is challenging me. When he looks at me with a little smirk on his lips, I couldn't stop my brow from furrowing. Last one. Ichiya. Ichiya. Last up is you, Ichiya. Uh, and here I thought you pounce on the chance to go first. <laughs> Have to save the best for last, right? Ah, gotcha. You're my brother's age. Sorry to make you wait, Lauren. My name is Ichiya Misumori. Misumori. I'm 26, so I'm a little bit older than you. A little bit. I don't to be a I don't, have, I don't have too many accomplishments worth bragging about, but if I had to say anything, I say I'm confident. I'll love you more than anyone here. Look at you. 
making promises. I promise you I'll do everything in my power to build a future where the two of us live happily ever after. You won't regret choosing me, I swear it. Something about him rubs me the wrong way. I kind of agree, but I kind of, I don't know. Who knows? I won't think about it. He gives me a perfectly timed wink. I felt a cold shiver run up my spine. Great. <laughs> and those are the four gentlemen who have been chosen as your potential bridegroom, Lauren. Gentlemen, allow me to formally introduce you to Miss Lauren Tojo, heir to the Tojo family. It's been my honor to raise her and serve her for years. You didn't raise me. I'm not certain he needs to add that last part. <laughs> Observe propriety, mind your manners, act with common sense and respect for all. Have I made myself clear? Hi. Yes, sir. Excellent. I'm glad to hear that. Now then, Miss Lauren, if you have any questions for these gentlemen, feel free to ask them now. How much money y'all got? What y'all families do? Uh, this has all been so sudden. I, uh. I don't know if you can ask you can ask us anything. I'll gladly answer any question you have for me. You're being awfully for Ichiya. Just watching you is exhausting. Excuse me, but that was uncalled for. I'm just being my normal self. Mm. Uh, really? You you sure seem more sketchy than usual, bro. Y'all seem close to each other. Uh, Y'all seem like y'all friends. Already. You're definitely sparkling more than before, yeah. I am? Ah, I guess I'm so happy about finally meeting Lauren. That joy is shining from every fiber of my being, okay? You are you blushing? Golly. <laughs> Whatever, bro. Listening to them banter back and forth, it struck me how relaxed everyone seemed. It was as if they were lounging in their own living room at home. See, they, they know each other. They have to. Something doesn't seem right. They childhood friends, all of them. In fact, even though these men had presumably moved in only a day or two before, the entire house the entire house felt strangely lived in. Not only that. Exactly, asking the right questions. If you don't mind me asking, have you gentlemen always been friends? You all seem very close. For a month? Did... I forgot his name already. <laughs> the butler. He was gone for a month. Was he... He was not a butler camp or butler whatever school. He was probably dealing with these guys. Mm -mm -mm. Live with guys for a month and yeah, you'll become pretty friendly. Or you'll learn to hate them. One of the two. 
What? You've been here an entire month? Ha. Jodo Jo Sanga Natsiasmi Hidu Kurokana. Oretachi Zenga Kono Yen. Well I say, well I say, summer vacation. Yeah, I think it was right when summer vacation started for you, Lauren. Uh that's about when we were all brought to this house. And the butler. It was pretty disorienting at first. All of us have very strong personalities, for better or for worse. But Mr. Butler here helps smooth things over. What I say? Yeah, it's like really good that Kasuga was here to help out. Otherwise, I'm sure this would have. This would have turned into a total disaster real fast. Mm hmm. Yep. <clears throat> You're nervous? You're sweating? Yep. I thought you were my homeboy. Hi. Mm -mm -mm. I thought you were a homie. Homies don't keep secrets like that. Mm mm mm. Did you not go to Butler Academy in England while I was on summer vacation? I cannot believe it. I didn't want to believe it. Hearing the tremor in my voice, Kazuga sighed heavily and shook his head. My humble apologies, miss. Everything was by the master's orders. Of all the shocks I had today, this was without a doubt the biggest one. Uh, I can't say I know what's going on between you two. But can we cut the drama now? Mind your business, Taiga. Stop calling me that. I get that you're confused, babe. But as, but as of now, you're living here with us. That's just the way it's gonna be. Let's all try to get along, okay? Best as we can, anyway. Yeah, I'm already looking forward to it. Uh, it will be my pleasure, Lauren. This is gonna be great. Golly. The four suitors flashed a bright smile at me, while Kazuka, turn Kazuka turned away in awkward embarrassment. I looked at them all dazedly and thought, There isn't a single person I can confide in in this entire house. Okay, I am done. We met all the guys, but I don't know how I feel about them. <laughs> yeah, we definitely, I, I definitely have to, you know, get them to show their true personality because they're all putting on a front for me right now, you know, because they want me to marry them. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on my social media. It's all in the description below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.